This microtopic covers setting a princess cut center stone in platinum prongs. Check the fit of the stone and the prongs. Initially, the stone should overlap the prongs by about 10%. When the stone is set, the tops of the prongs should be even with or slightly below the top of the table. Pre-finish and polish the area of the ring that will not be accessible after the stone is set. Use an appropriate abrasive material and begin with the coarseness of grit necessary to remove the finely textured surface left by the casting process. Finish using natural bristle brushes and 800, then 2000 grit platinum polishing compound. Cut a bearing to seat and secure the stone in a mounting. Here it is produced using a 90 degree bearing burr. With platinum superior density, Cutting tools must be well lubricated. This all-set device makes it easier to systematically control the location of the bearing in each prong, or the bearing can be cut freehand. Start by cutting approximately 20% of the prong's overall thickness. Be sure the level and depth of the cut is consistent for all the prongs. Continue cutting the bearing in each prong to a depth of 40% of the prong thickness. A stone can break during normal wear if its corners come in contact with the metal setting, so create small relief cuts in each corner of the bearing with a ball burr. Remove all excess metal caused by making the bearing and relief cuts. Pre-finish and polish all areas that cannot be polished after setting. Place the stone in the mounting. Check for level. Place the jaws of the parallel pliers on adjacent prongs at the level of the girdle and gently squeeze to tighten the stone. Then squeeze the opposing adjacent prongs. Turn 90 degrees and gently squeeze. Platinum is highly desirable for this process as it has little or no memory. Rotate 180 degrees and squeeze. There is still a small gap between the stone and the prongs. Close this gap by using a hammer and punch or a reciprocating hammer on a light setting. Shape and true the prong tops by filing. Finish the prongs. And here's the finished ring.